Yes, I don't know what I infected. It's actually for math. To be honest, I mess up a lot. I really fully utilize every single day. So do a lot of online business and uh, social media because I also prepare myself for interview. To be honest, it took about, I would say, most of my time. Hi guys, hi everyone. Recently, I just received my AS result to record down this moment But yeah, I'm wearing my pajamas and sitting here uh, talking with you guys So I hope, I really hope that none of my friends see this Otherwise, I will get really embarrassed So if you are my friend and you are seeing this, please don't leave any comment So actually now it's like 11 or something, 11 at night And I just feel like to, be, just feel like to speak about my I asked them and uh, intend to like make a video talking about A levels. If you, if you do really have any questions, you may drop your comments so that what kind of topic, what kind of video I can make for the next. Now let, let's 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 get to the topic and now I'm going to check my AS level result and my prediction for my grades. Okay. I remember I wrote that before, so later I can compare whether my expectation is the so basically, previously I have made a note here, like what results I will get. So I predicted myself physics I will get 95, maths I will get 96. Wow, how can I be this kind of confident level? So chemistry is 95, 92, and computer science is 93. Oh my god, I expect all A songs. But actually, I think this is kind of like Actually, my expectation is like lower I wasn't like confident in every single subject In this exam series, I took the practical assumption And later on the video, I will talk about practical assumptions So if you are going to take A-levels And you this pandemic can't do practical exercise So later on, I will explain in this video I will explain on what is practical assumption So maybe you can consider that To be honest, I, I hope I got all A stars, but I don't think I will, especially computer science. Like this is the first time I take computer science subject, and I have limited time on doing revision and past year paper. You know, I just yes, and animals this kind of hundred percent exam base. You really need to try a lot, a lot of past year, and I think doing past year paper is. I would say it's the main like you need to put in in order to get good grades. I heard a lot of people claiming that during the IGCSE that they are not that kind of person who study all day, like putting effort last few months on like trying a lot of last year and at the end they get good grades. So if you really want to score high mark on this kind of exam examination, please, please, please do a lot past year. 10th of January, you are registered under a test center so maybe you will get email from them and from that, you are able to trust your result by entering the user ID and password given by your center and I was very nervous the first time when I need to check my result on my own all they will send you the ID that you know I have to check my result so currently I'm very nervous and very nervous. so yo 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 I really get all the above the highest grade you can get for AS level A even though you get like 98, above 80 is considered as an A. Yeah. So for A2, we they will combine both of your AS and A2 mark and they will give you a final. If you are 90 above, then you will get A star. Now I go to the website. We get all 90 above. Then I will buy a cake for myself. Thank you. Thank you, my parents, for sending me to college. Like IPD6. Okay. Okay, I saw my result. Okay, yeah. Now I'm going to show you guys my level result. This is my grade, and I got chemistry 93. And yeah, just now my prediction. My prediction was 92. Three, so it's quite close. And for physics, I got 95. Six, got 97. Got 97. Everything is like above what you but except the computer science. Got it. 89. Oh my god. Alright. 89. 
I think everything is better than what I expected Especially for math To be honest, I mess up a lot But at the end, I got 97 Which I really really shock and recently i got my components mark from my so yeah you you can get component mark from your teachers if you are if your college is able to do so so your they will tell you what what marks you you need to get in order to get like the grade that you want for the next paper like paper four paper five so everything is better than what i have expected to be honest even though like even though i predicted myself like 90, 93 for computer science 92 for chemistry but i didn't i really didn't like think i can do it because yeah i think i messed up some of the parts but in the end, it turns out good. So don't be miserable or feel sad, depressed after you do think you mess up a lot because yeah, there still be some chances that you might get a good grade. I mean, yeah, this is a good grade, right? I'm not sure, but I think it's quite good enough for me. That's all, and I'm happy with this. Even though I got computer science 89, but I'll still buy a cake for myself, okay? Because I only like revise all the five months before all this five months period i really fully utilize every single day not only focus on my study i'm not that type of person that study all day i did study but not all, all day studying and i also do a lot of online business and uh, social media because i also prepare myself for, for interview ah, a sending application right a personal statement to be honest it took about i would say most of my time i think Spending time on revising of A level and applying for university application for preparation, I think I spend uh, like about 50-50% of time. Because preparation for personal statement, like for a UK university, is quite a lot of time. And also I need to prepare for the Oxbridge interview. And um, yeah, I'm done with this. I'm happy I'm done with this, all this thing. Yep. That's all for my today's sharing and I hope you guys enjoy it or maybe you just learn something from this video to make more video on like my college life, A level college life and A level study. I'm still like taking A level. Yep, I hope to show you guys my progress and even the de depressed. Even if I'm depressed, maybe I will show you guys because you know it's not a waste. Like you only see the good things. Like people achieve quite good things in life but we do put in a lot of effort and hard work and i hope anyone who is taking a level together we can work together and maybe we can open a study group and so yeah i'm looking forward to update more on this a level than my online business because previously my sharing on how to be a shopee seller i received quite a lot of like comment and question and query i'm worried that i might not be able to do that maybe i would more emphasize on study tips study progression for a level and yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and and you remember to give a like and thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because I really need subscribers to be honest I only have 2 subscribers to for motivation okay so currently I'm very 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 grateful for the 2 subscribers so yeah every single one every single subscribers to be special unique and I'm grateful for to have you in my channel so yeah stay tuned for more videos and bye have a good day good life good health and everything I hope everything will be fine for you bye bye Bye. I didn't do a lot of past year on computer science because um yeah because I took this elevator exam like only five months and I actually plan to self study in myself register as a private candidate but I didn't because I think having a school life is better so I registered under college. There's a trend like taking computer science because everyone's saying that computer degree is like I think that's why like computer science is a subject that recently many people wanted to take and I didn't take computer science in my IGCSE but physics for physics, math and chemistry I took it during IG so easier for me to cope. I I, I did try to put in more effort on computer science but I am I really had no computer background. I have no foundation in computer science, no program. I have never ever coded before I took this subject so but 
during this level journey, like I did learn a lot coding and then about the theory part of computer science. That's quite a lot of thing to memorize, to be honest. So if you guys are interested in computer science taking, so maybe um, I would make a video explain on this subject later. Bye.